Let's go to Way 31's Luke Hydash. He is live at the Indian Creek Greenway. Luke still looks like that playground is underwater. What are you seeing out in Madison right now? Yeah, Carson, good morning to you. Hey, uh, if this playground is indicative of playgrounds all across North Alabama, which I'm sure you and I both think it is, it's definitely going to be a day for indoor recess for the kids today. Here at Indian Creek Greenway, bulk of the playground here underwater and when you're not in water it's like you're walking on a sponge and that is the case for most of North Alabama this morning as you're waking up and heading out onto the roads you need to be careful this morning over the weekend we saw some crazy crazy video let's take a look back at some of that water all over the roadways some roads even being washed out across North Alabama Huntsville police say that they responded to nearly 20 wrecks because of the weather over the weekend and there's still signs up as you wake up this morning warning of water over the roadways on 565 you especially need to be careful for that hydroplaning it's a big concern this morning especially because their paving so some of those low-lying areas on the interstate could lead to some trouble spots make sure you got those low beams on make sure you're giving yourself plenty of space between yourself and the car in front of you in case they or you do hydroplane and make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to head out this morning here off the roadways though in the low-lying areas expect some puddles like this guy some big ones here at indian creek the water flowing you can hear it i don't know if you can on the camera but you can hear at least it's usually flowing at about three feet high this morning it's at eight and that's because of that six plus inches of rain we got over the weekend and it's only expected to get worse as carson's been saying with more rain coming throughout the day for now that is the latest live in madison this morning luke Hyde ash way 31 news